Kempi, it's been a while since we since you last caught up uh, towards the end of last season, and there's been a lot of change. So, so first off, how have you been, and and how has the place kind of evolved over the summer? Yeah, no, it's, it's been a, a big change here, um, but no, I'm I'm good, thank you. Um, really enjoying the start of the season, and um, I feel like we're moving in a good, really good direction. Um, there's a lot of obviously a new face with the new manager and his staff, and they've been brilliant with me. Um, and also, like we feel like we're integrating well with the new players, and um, no, it's been a really encouraging start, and um, no, it's been a good start. Mm. And new players, like you mentioned now, obviously, it's uh, on the pitch is a is a big big thing. But a couple of them, a couple of the new ones, have already spoken about a strong bond. Is that something you feel? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, the trip to Scotland helped with that. We went away for a week, and um, we bonded a lot there. There's a lot of new faces, but it feels like we've been together for a long time now. Um, we've got a really good like morale around the group and a good blend of experience and youth. So I think it's, it's working well and we're all getting on really well. Mm. Just to reflect quickly on the, on the couple of games we have had so far, obviously Salford, uh, way first game of the season where we saw the fans and it was yeah, a very good atmosphere to, to be a part of. And then Tuesday night, again, a 1-1, a penalty defeat, but again, a, a game where we take a lot of positives out of that. So looking back at those two games, what have you taken from it? Yeah, no, uh, two very, very exciting games to be involved in so far. Um, Salford, a really difficult place to go. Um, and I feel like it's a good point. Um, we uh, we battled really well in that game. It was a different, completely different style of game to Wednesday night, um, but it was an enjoyable match, and we picked a, a good point up. So we were pleased with that. And then um, obviously we were disappointed not to win on Wednesday after a really really good performance. Um, but we gave a really good account of ourselves, and uh, we should take a lot of positives uh, moving forward because. Uh, we're playing against a top team there and we definitely come out on top, I felt, especially towards the end. And having the supporters back in obviously gives it that edge, but for yourself as well, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but your loan towards the end of Stevenage was the only real time you played in front of supporters because of last season. So so how was that experience and you know, what did that give you? Yeah, no, I had the, had the odd experience of uh, playing in front of fans when they opened it back up a few games, but then it got, uh, the fans weren't allowed to come back in. So no, but it's been amazing for me to experienced especially the Leighton Orient fans for the first time um, I've experienced a lot of like um, good su- good messages and support over social media and they've been brilliant with me since I've joined but to actually experience their support in person has been amazing and uh, I'm really grateful for that and it's been amazing to play in front of them. Mm. The place was rocking towards the end of that game on, on Wednesday and, and the momentum's kind of growing first from that sort of game and, and now going into Exeter how important would a, would a win be to, to kick the season off? Yeah, no, definitely. Obviously, we've had a we've had we've had a draw, almost two draws really, and losing on pens on Wednesday. So we want to, we want to cement our first win of the season. We had a we've had a really good pre season, and we've took that into our first couple of games. But we want to get that first win over the line. I feel like we deserve that. Um, but it'll be a tough game against XL and we'll need to we'll need to perform well. But I'm more than confident we can get that first win. Mm. And it, it will be extra. So we know obviously from last season and that. 4 nil defeat would, would be one that would probably stick with you and a few of the players that were there. Mm, yeah, no, definitely. Um, last season, we were, it was a really tough game against them. We didn't perform nowhere near as well enough, but um, we've got a new squad. Um, it's, a, it's a brand new game. It's a new season, so it's time to almost put that right from last season, but also um, continue our momentum and keep building in the right direction. And uh, um, I'm, re- I'm really confident and looking forward to it. Mm. Looking ahead to the season, what, what are the aims, not just of the group, but of you personally? Obviously, you came in from January last time, so you didn't get that full season, mm. but towards the end, you, you know, you're really flying. Yeah, no, um, I want to I wanna improve from my form last season. I feel like I can go to an even better level than I achieved last season. Um, there's definitely a lot, lot more to come from me individually. Um, I want to I wanna be a key player for this team and help us. Uh, to gain promotion in which I feel like we're all in the same we're going towards the same direction to achieve that so I want to be a big part of that Um, and just um, enjoy my football play with a smile on my face but also work hard for the team and I feel like as a group we're all working together for the same goal to achieve promotion so that's the main aim really.